learn among other principles that promote equitable access to land resources. Further aware that Article 61 of the Constitution of Kenya provides all land in Kenya belongs collectively as a nation, as communities, and as individuals. Acknowledging that, the Siolo County Government and National Government have made efforts in carrying out surveying exercise in a number of uh, our wards and provided leasehold title deeds. Noting that failure of the county government to plan and survey rural trading centers is subjecting these centers land to fraud by the economically and socially well of individuals thus escalating community and individuals' land disputes. Further noting that lack of land planning, surveying and mapping results to and plan infrastructure development and defined land ownership, boundary dispute, and certain benefits to the constitution, constitutional land rights, poor administration of land, among others. This house therefore resolves that the county executive committee member for land, uh, physical planning, housing, and urban development, roads and public works to plan and survey all the major trading centers where survey has not been done within the county. I now put the floor for debate. Mushimwa Major. Point of order. I think the uh, owner of the is the chairman of uh, land. I think he should come last so that he can hear owner of the speaker what uh, yeah, please, so that he can summarize and know what our sentiments as the chairman of Okay, Mushimua, hold on so that you'll be the person to sum up everything after the members have deliberated enough on the motion. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Okay, thank you so much for yeah. that, Mushimua Waidaka. Thank you. You thank can you. go ahead and now. Uh, uh, let me go, let me go ahead. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this chance once again. Uh, and let me first congratulate the members uh, who are here. In fact, yesterday we had a very important motion about the, the fires that are breaking up, but uh, we could not get a quorum, which is a shame, a house of 18 people lacking six people. So I really congratulate you people who are here, who have come, so that uh, we discuss on a very worth motion. Uh, uh, my brother, Honorable Jiro, is a very is a member of a very important committee because when we talk of land, land is capital. Land is not only money but capital. Sir. So uh, we have really suffered in this place, in Siolo County, and it is my prayer that. All our effort should be made to make sure that our people get titles or documents for land ownership. The other day, the people of Garissa were compensated better than us for the simple reason that our people did not have land, doc, uh, land ownership documents. We were paid, I don't even know whether you have been paid, but what possibly are proposing to pay us is peanut. But if we had those documents, our people could be well up. So it is my prayer once again that the, both the county government and national government to make sure that our county, both the community lands and the individual lands, people should get those documents of ownership. Otherwise, our people will remain beggars. And this time, since the Department of Land is in our county, it, it, it is us who are managing. I think this one is a high time that we put enough resources to make sure that, because I, for sure I don't feel we have any other business if we cannot make our land secure. We need to put enough money as a county to make sure our people get this important, 
most important document. As my friend and brother, Honorable Kiabi has really, uh, really stated, just imagine even the, in this uh, capital of ours, Isiolo town, people who have documents for land ownership. We had the other time when the president was here, it was only 300 people with the titles. It is a shame. After 60 years of independence, that our people don't have those documents. So, it is my prayer that the government, together with the national government, we lobby and make sure that the surveyors come to this place and our people get titles. And if we do that, our people, especially where I come from, those land were surveyed a long time ago in 1992. People have been trying to seek titles without any success here in Budapest. It is the oldest settlement in Israel. But even up till now, people are crying that they don't have land ownership document. What are we doing, even as a government of a county government, to make sure that our people get those titles? You know, in a let me use this one, uh, Honourable. Can you see? Because every time you are told the titles are, then everything stops once again. What, what is this game? Can you see? So it is my prayer that every part of this county, people should get that ownership document so that even our Nini will add value. People, We'll have, even our land will have value. People are moving from all over. You know, everybody knows this place will become the center of Kenya. But if you could only sell uh, you need 0.5 of uh, 50 by 100 and you sell it to 10 million, automatically you become rich. But people buy an acre at a very cheap, uh, very cheap price. For heaven's sake, where are we heading? Our uh, people should have the foresight and see for the people to make sure that uh, we register our people get uh, the titles for this county. Even if we do nothing else, I think our people will be happy after getting that or that ownership. Otherwise, uh, document, otherwise, God bless you, Honorable Speaker, and uh, Honorable, Honorable Decker, for bringing this a very important motion that it touches our hearts. Otherwise, God bless you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Mashima Waidaka. Anybody? Mashima Kamila can go ahead. I stand to support the motion. It is a very important motion and it is timely, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, when we talk about uh, the issue of planning or survey of our land, uh, land it is what each and every member living in this county or in this nation have to uh, get ownership of it, Madam Speaker. And you can get to the ownership of that land, Madam Speaker, by having the title deed. But Madam Speaker, before coming the title deed, is the area itself being surveyed? You cannot be issued with the land title, Madam Speaker, before the area is surveyed, Madam Speaker. Our people, they are very, I can, I can say they are ignorant or Madam Speaker, but most of our area where our people are living, Madam Speaker, it is not, the survey it is not done properly, Madam Speaker. Right now I'm speaking, Madam Speaker, there is issue of plant land dispute in Seolo County, Madam Speaker. And this issue, it has been addressed by the community in the social medias, in radios, and everywhere, Madam Speaker. But, but Madam Speaker, the issue of this land dispute, we have the Office of the Land here in Isiolo County, Madam Speaker, and we have the national government, Madam Speaker. The dispute it is there, Madam Speaker. There are unknown individuals, Madam Speaker, who are having the title deed.
Madam Speaker, the issue of land dispute, Madam Speaker, as I've already said, there are people who are unknown, who are disturbing the people of Isiolo by acquiring, Madam Speaker, they titled it from the up uh, country, Madam Speaker, from the head of his Nairobi, Madam Speaker. But the innocent Isiolo people, they are just occupying their area, not knowing their fate, Madam Speaker. But someone come out from the outside country because he has money or she has money to come and prepare fake document. I cannot say fake document because everything of Kenya nowadays it is money. People don't want to care about the innocent people who are living in Isiolo, Madam Speaker. So those people who have big bellies, who have good money, they just prepare their title, Madam Speaker, come and complain the area which has been already occupied by innocent people of Isiolo County, Madam Speaker. After, after producing that document, they are claiming they have the valid title deed. I can say it is valid because it was issued by the uh, land commission, Madam Speaker. Then the innocent there, they are just waiting that those, they are being taken to the court, some of them. Madam Speaker, right now I'm saying it from the point of knowledge and experience. It's Chechele's being in Seolo County, Madam Speaker. They are with the, a good number of people they are experiencing the same problem. Makio, Madam Speaker, the owner of that title deed, they bring their private surveyors, Madam Speaker. The surveyor who are not known to the people to come and replan, Madam Speaker. Just think of that and grabbing all piece of land, saying that even there is no road surveyor, road uh, uh, service. I don't want to know about the road. The, the plot, it is mine. What, what? Because the court, court is over, Madam Speaker. The innocent lost their, their land, Madam Speaker. And on top, of the, on top of that, they come and say that there is no issue of road here. What they are, they come and reply. Imagine, Madam Speaker, we get into the fact that we lose after buying and rebuying. I'm saying after buying and rebuying the plot because of the dispute, Madam Speaker. Madam, Madam Speaker, the area of survey, it is very important. The motion talk about planning and survey of major training centers. The trading centers, Garbatula, <coughs> Mefti Trading Centers, Madam Speaker, it is there. It's all we have. We appreciate the effort of the county government where many areas have been surveyed, Madam Speaker, although there is dispute here and there. But where the survey is not done, Madam Speaker, we, de we really want the agent of the matter, Madam Speaker. We have been talking of issue of, Madam Speaker, uh, fire, fire breakout, Madam Speaker. Remember of the fire extinguisher not get into the affected area because of lack of roads. Because the area it was not properly surveyed. People just build their houses, uh, protect their plots. Anyhow, Madam Speaker, it is the ma matter that must be handled in an urgent manner for our people to enjoy the piece of land they have. The issue of compensation it is another, Madam Speaker. As Mweshmiwa Waidaka has said, the eight people who have been the area of this the mega project, it has really affected our people where they cannot get the good uh, compensation. How can we get the good compensation, Madam Speaker, when the, our data it, it cannot be traced, Madam Speaker? It is issue that it must be handled in a very serious way, Madam Speaker. Our committee are suffering, Madam Speaker. We have the community the, the committee for that, which is represented by Honorable Major Jilo, a well educated uh, honorable member in this house, we really want these issues to be uh, handled, Madam Speaker, yes. having bringing, having to, all of us, the members, we must come together to address these matters, Madam Speaker, not only the committee, but even the rest of the committee, we have the concern, so that we are all people's representative, Madam Speaker, not only the committee, but I know he has that capacity to push for that, Madam Speaker, so that we can help our community. With those few remarks, I beg Sit down. Thank you, thank you, Mashima Kamila. You are becoming so emotional. I know, understand the match. Uh, everyone is aggrieved about land, and I'm sure we pray everything is going to be taken according to the way it's supposed to be done. But this needs a lot of uh, effort from us as politicians and leaders of this county, so that at least uh, we push where we can be. We can able. To, we are able to push. Let me say that. So before we now propose, I now give Moshimwa, the chairperson for land. Oh, 
Moshimo, I just said I didn't see his hand up. Sorry, Moshimo, I the, the Lord kindly also add. I thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to add something in this motion. I think I stand to rise to support the motion of Moshimo Adeha Boncha. Article 6 of the Constitution of Kenya says, uh, provide land that in Kenya shall be built and the use and money and the, uh, that is equitable, efficient, productive. So, Madam Speaker, uh, I stand to support this motion. Uh, I have uh, one case in Chichilis where uh, Madam Moshimwa uh, Kamila resides. Uh, uh, that case is belong to Mr. Elo Tuandu. Some the individuals who are, who are living there. Who live in Nairobi. I know Eloto was a resident of Isiolo. He was a resident of Chechelez for a long time. He was born there. <coughs> but uh, Eloto lost the land through a fraud a cartel who came from Nairobi and do the titling of that land. Because of the uh, the, stand, uh, the poor uh, poverty of the Mr. Eloto, Eloto lose that land. And that person is not a resident of Isolo, inside Nairobi, but he come and he uh, titled the land, and now Eloto has no land. She, he, he has not land. He, he has open, uh, not owning any land in so That's not good, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker. So we had uh, the relevant uh, uh, committee to take this matter uh, and uh, go and find uh, this issue, this land. Uh, we have uh, in our budget, uh, this budget, uh, financial 2014-25, I think we, we, are, we have 7 million where we, as an assembly, we need to increase that a lot, uh, the budget. Because 7 million can't survey uh, Isolo land. In Burat, a lot of peop uh, land of Burat is owned by the holding, uh, uh, holding Grounds. Uh, yeah. ground. 124 hectares. I think I brought uh, last week, uh, two, two weeks ago, I brought that motion in this house. That land to be reverted back to the community. And today we have uh, our chairman, uh, land chair. I think uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the land of Burad uh, has a lot of care. Uh, 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 Madam Speaker. Kindly address the Speaker. <laughs> uh, sorry, Madam Speaker. Uh, the Burad land has a lot of issues. Uh, the first issue, uh, we have a case with the military of Kenya. And the second issue, the holding ground. We won a lot of, uh, uh, <coughs> won 104 hectares. So this issue we need to be looked at. Looked at it, uh, Madam Speaker. Uh, I think uh, issue of titling. We need to give the first priority issue of titling because of the cartels. A lot of cartels. We have a lot of cartels in Seoul. We need when we <coughs> the county uh, take them this issue of the land and do the titling of our land. These cases of fraud cases uh, will decrease, Madam Speaker. So we had uh, this house, when the supplementary budget come, we, we had this, I had this house to increase the budget of the titling, because seven million is not uh, enough for doing titling of Isolo County. To finish this issue of the uh, cartels, so we need to title our land. Madam Speaker, I support the motion of Madam uh, of Honorable Deck. Thank you for giving this opportunity to Thank you us. so much. Thank you so much. But before we go ahead and give the chair to respond to all the from the debate, I kindly ask Mashimwa for Chari to go back, address well and come back kindly. And thank you for coming. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me an opportunity. Uh, I stand actually 
strongly support this motion. Madam Speaker, it is true what is coming from uh, Honorable uh, members of the House that the planning and surveying of our land in the county is very important and we have been underperforming as a county over so many years, Madam Speaker. And uh, all what has been said here, the challenges that we have been hearing from members of our house is very true. <coughs> Madam Speaker, Isolo County has been left behind without getting titles and value for their land. And the county has been experiencing a lot of rush over the speculation of land because of the mega infrastructure that is coming up within the county, the regional infrastructure, while the county itself is actually underdeveloped as far as the land surveying and planning is concerned. This is true that has brought a lot of problem, Madam Speaker, including security issues, conflicts, and which has disrupted the cohesion of the communities of Isiolo. Madam Speaker, it is true that today the titles have been taken by the land barons at the ministry headquarters. I have been getting actually the complaints, Madam Speaker, which is even going outside the Solo Central to the other part of the uh, remote part of the county, Madam Speaker. And there is a kind of a deal link by the county with the National Land Commission and the Ministry of Lands, Madam Speaker, and I think this is because of the influence of external forces which are up to grab <coughs> land, including where people have even put a permanent structure, Madam Speaker. It is true what Honorable has been uh, members of our county assemblies on the floor has been giving specific cases but madam speaker this is a disaster because i was told by the department of physical planning at the ministry of quota when i had a chance to interact with them at the beginning of our uh, our our session of this assembly Madam Speaker, when I complain that land has been given out to titles by people who are living you know, uh, outside the county, and I gave an example of a, a very senior citizen and a civil servant who retired, unfortunately now sick, bedridden in his house, uh, Wario Sala. The old man, Wario Sala, was actually evicted from his house by through a court order and is living in a permanent uh, building which he has invested all his life that he has been uh, serving as a civil servant he told me that's only the case that's i was told by the deputy director of physical planning also it's, chair sorry to cut you short in as much as you also uh, debate on the motion as the chair of the the said committee kindly also give us the way forward and yes uh, i will i will i will yeah, solution shortly. to these problems shortly yeah. i will and he confirmed to me that uh, 90 percent of tuluroba land has been taken away so this shows how much a disaster it is actually madam speaker and uh the biggest challenge is about uh a funding for the office of the lands the cec lands to be effectively undertaken now 
and as a matter of emergency, undertake the survey and planning and be able to address the conflict which is already existing. Madam Speaker, we need actually 3 million shillings per word. Per word immediately. Where there is an adjudication by the National Land Commission, the county is also supposed to facilitate some percentage in the areas of Kina, in the areas of Garbatula, that money is not there. Right now, even that exercise has stalled. So bottom line, as much as we are addressing this as a security reason, we are addressing this as an emergency for health purposes. Madam Speaker, people today cannot take their dead for burial because there is no passage. All this is true, Madam Speaker. This gives a degree, a highest degree possible, that this house to consider this money as an emergency, Madam Speaker, to be able to address this and come up also with the data of how many people have been affected in the respective wards so that a solution can be found, Madam Speaker. Uh, all what you have been saying here, including the marking of road, which road which has not been surveyed, actually we, we name the drainage system. All this is true, uh, Madam Speaker. We need money and this money has to be allocated immediately. We have to rearrange during the supplementary budget, Madam Speaker, and we form a task force, Madam Speaker, I request the House to put this across to the, uh, uh, from the House, to be able to monitor and see that this problem is addressed adequately. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And all what you need is money. I've even consulted the CEC. I have visited the office severally, put this through before the executive. They say that it is under funding that they require 3 million shillings per word to urgently address this issue, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker, for giving me. And I'm, I'm very hopeful that this, 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 this motion, Madam Speaker, will actually be able to help the, the executive to be able to work immediately and address this problem. Thank you so much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Chair. Before now, I give the mover to say something. No, before the mover, I'm just, I think, Moshi Master, let's say you've uh, given you enough time, and you cannot speak twice, you know, according to our standing order. You only speak once, and then we've given you that time. Kindly sit and wait for the motion to go through. So before I give the mover to say something, I also want to say something small. Uh, because members, we know as we do our budgeting, some we are given a lot of uh, responsibility in that budget. <coughs> we go through the central committee, uh, central committee hearings. Before then, the hearings we sit with the budget ourselves, and then we go to the sectors. We sit with the sectors again, so that's enough time for us to inject and then uh, give out uh, in terms of priorities, which sector requires a lot of money. In, in according to priorities, because we, we, we know our budget is so small, we don't have much budget, but if we plan well, some issues like this can be sorted. So kindly put, uh, put it in your diary, so that if we go to the budget making processes or even to the supplementary budget, some sectors like this, because, you know, we cannot finish all the problems of our, of our county in one uh, budget, but it's slowly, slowly after every budget, we can do something and then put aside that problem and then sort it. So mover, I think uh, if you have something to add. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, it's my pleasure to thank all members with, who contributed and supporting this motion. I don't have much to say, but I request the concerned department to plan and survey map all the major trading centers where survey has not been done within the county. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, members, for contributing to the motion. I now put the question uh, that aware that Article 60 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 provides that land in Kenya shall be held, used, and managed 
in a manner that is equitable, efficient, of among others principles that promote equitable, equitable access to land resources. Further aware that Article 61 of the Constitution of Kenya provides all land in Kenya belongs collectively as a nation, as communities, and as individuals. Individuals acknowledging that the Siolo County government and national government have made efforts in carrying out surveying exercise in a number of our wards and provided leasehold title deeds. Noting that failure of the county government to plan and survey rural trading centers is subjecting these centers land to fraud by, by the economically and socially well of individuals, thus escalating community and individuals land disputes. Further noting that lack of land planning, surveying and mapping results to unplanned infrastructure development and defined land ownership, boundary disputes and certain benefits of the constitution land rights, poor administration of land among others. This house therefore resolves that the county executive committee member for land physical planning, housing, urban development, roads and public works to plan and survey all, all the major trading centers where survey has not been done within the county. In as much as of the uh, same opinion say aye. Aye. In as much as of the contrary opinion say nay. So the eyes have it. Next order. That's all for this session. So members, the House stand adjourned until today at 2.30 p.m.